action. Our CS451 final project is to explore the provincial factor in Canada's COVID-19 prediction. The idea of our project is basically to find does the provincial difference play a major factor in the spread of COVID-19 in Canada. In specific, we are going to see that different provinces of Canada have different COVID-19 growth rates. In order to explore this idea, we have a five-step methodology. The first step is finding reliable data source. As you can see on the right, here is the raw data we get from Statistic Canada. We also get COVID-19 updated test case from John Hopkins University's GitHub repo. The second step, we did data exploration using some Python prototyping tools. The third stage is data extraction, where we get the data into useful formats for the trending later. The fourth stage is trending models using Spark ML library. The last stage, we compare our models by testing them and selecting the best model to predict the data of COVID-19 cases in May. Uh, I will start explaining how do, what do we do after we get the raw data. So uh, what we did was using the Jupyter that did the pair plot and scatter plot. So from that, we can determine what feature we need. And in the last, we determined to pick two direct features, which are test cases and days, and another two demographic features, which are population and age. And after getting the raw data, we also did some data cleaning, such as change the data data to number of days. So like change from date to uh, int make it easier to process. Also, we change age to median age in province and population to pro population per province. Next, I'm going to talk about data extraction. So for data extraction, we, we used a lot of things we learned in this course in for relational database. First was like, uh, the first few were projection and selection. So we want to fil filter out the data we need and like select the columns we need, such as in this case on the right hand right hand side the code shows like we select like geo code and days things started confirmed cases and number of tested and after we extract all the data from the raw files we did a uh, aggregation file such that we aggregate together by join by geo code so at this time we have a comp comprehensive data set for the trainer to train So uh, for models, we've come up with two models. One is the national regression model and the other is the provincial regression model. In the national regression model, we have only one model, but we're fitting all the provincial data in this one model and perform regression on this model to uh, get a final estimate of the number of confirmed cases in the future. And then for provincial, regression, we actually um, design a generator method where we generate model for each provincial data and we calculate the number of confirmed cases for each province separately. And in the end, we aggregate all those data into the final outcome. So for each model, we also design testing methodology. Our testing methodology is that for both of the two models, we'll split the known data into trained data frame and also testing data frame. The trained data frame is the last month's known data, and the test data frame is the most recent previous week's uh, confirmed cases. And then um, we'll uh, comp compare those two models by calculating their respective RMSE and coefficient of determination. And in the end, we know that per province model performs much better than the national model. So we decide to use per province model as our final model. So the result, the result we're giving are the prediction based on the um, sum of the uh, provincial model. And we predict on May 10th, there will be 52,000 uh, confirmed cases. And on May 17th, we uh, predict there will be 58,000 of confirmed cases. And we predict on May 31st, such that there will be 70,000 confirmed cases. The scatter plot is uh, below that and it contains the period from May 1st to May 31st. Thank you very much for watching our project. We have attached our GitHub link both in the email and in the video description. Please read the code that it contains a full readme. Thank you very much.